What's going on YouTubers? Gedang775. I'm back with another video. This is just a quick video and review of the Vidon F1 wireless bone conduction headphones or headset, I should say. So I've tested these out thoroughly and basically thoroughly enough for me to get sick because I went out running, uh, what, Tuesday, I think, or Monday or Tuesday, and the temperature swung, swinged in about 20 degrees in about 20 minutes. So I went out running around 8 o'clock, it was like, like, when we 7, 7.40 a.m., it was like 60 degrees, with the wind blowing a little bit, so it was like 55 with the wind chill, and in 20 minutes, it dropped 20 degrees, it dropped to like 40 degrees, I couldn't believe it, and all I had was like a windbreaker, a shirt underneath, and a sweatpants, and, and my running shoes, so by the time I got back, so I ran about 2 miles, yeah, it took me about 20 minutes to do 2 miles, and it was cold now I'm sporting a sore throat I'm congested as you can hear I had a fever yesterday but I'm a little bit better but I, and I wanted to bang this review out real quick about these Vidon F1 bone conduction headphones now the good thing is like if you have problems wearing normal ear you know earbuds or wireless or over-the-ear headphones these are not it okay these go right on the outside of your ear and <clears throat> I'm being honest here. I don't really buy the whole bone conduction thing, sending music to your bones. No, it, it, it's not that. What it is, I'm gonna take this off real quick. You see that right there? Music comes out of there, and it kind of goes sideways. It, the way if if it sits on your head, it kind of goes into your ear that way. Hence why they call it wireless bone conduction. I don't know why they call it bone conduction because it's just a loudspeaker that you stick right by your earlobe and you can hear. The thing is, this thing does get pretty loud. Um, negatives are there's no bass, no bass, and no bass. So those are the three negatives that I have with these. Um, if these had bass, they would be perfect because the mids and highs on these Vidon F1's um, bone conduction headphones, these things are can get pretty loud and the mids and heights sound pretty balanced and clear for the most part okay and running in windy you know windy situation like it's really windy outside these things support Bluetooth 4.1 which is pretty advanced you know it's pretty high up there but if there's a lot of wind going you might hear some chop when you're running with these things on um, like I did like it got really windy and really cold really fast so um but and oh, the, the other con about these headphones are the price, $69.99. Is it worth that? I'm going to agree with myself in my past video saying $69.99 is not worth it. Now there's a deal going on right now, you can get 10% off. Now is $63.99 worth these wireless bone conduction headphones? <coughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say no. Now, if these were probably a little bit cheaper, say 50 bucks or less, then I could see it worth being worth that much. Now, I'm just being honest. You folks know I've been following my channel. I give you honest reviews, my opinions, honest of my honest opinions, and these I bought myself. Okay, so nothing's holding anything over me, over me. But mids and highs, they're balanced. They're they get pretty loud, piercing loud sometimes. Like some songs are really piercing loud, so you got to turn them down. Um, and it does sound a little sharp, but that can be fixed with EQ, but there's practically no low end, so the bass, so that's why I can't justify the $69.99 price tag that are on these headphones. Now, $49.99 below, if it comes down on sale, sure, why not, pick it up, okay? It's a great alternative, especially if you're sick, if you have an ear infection, okay, especially. If you got an ear infection, like I probably do have right now, my ears are like tinging and they're itchy and stuff, these don't actually bother my ear infection kind of like like if you got an ear infection and you stick regular earbuds on man it, you're you're asking for trouble it's gonna annoy you even regular over-the-ear headphones can mess up your ear you know what I mean you know because when it's enclosed it just builds up moisture and it, it just doesn't feel right but with these on and they're not in your ear I like the, the fact that they're not in your ear but right on the side of it that's a big plus for me especially if you're sick and this thing is water resistant IP55 I think or IPX5 something like that water resistant to a point so light rain light rain is good it's okay should be fine sweat proof 
Now, if it's pouring rain, um, these things are screwed. You gotta put them in your pocket and hopefully they don't get wet. Now, and don't go swimming with these either. Yeah, they're not made for that. But light rain, light drizzle, sometimes that happens. We, you know, I know, I, I like to run in the rain sometimes and obviously I get sick for it. <laughs> So, the Vidon Wireless F1 Bone Conduction Headphones, if I were to rank it, say, um, one star being worse, five stars being the best thing ever, I'd probably go 3.5 out of 5. Just because the low end, for me, the low end, you know, there's no base, that, that, that's a big minus for me, so I'd have to take off a point for that. And the price, price per performance. Um, the price, $69.99, I don't think it's worth it. But you folks can check it out and let me know if you guys, you folks picked up a wireless bone conduction headphones like these. Let me know if you found one that has everything, you know, like low end, mids, highs, balance, something that sounds good. And I want to try and take a look at it. Let me know if you folks find something or a product like these with some nice low end at a good price per performance. So yeah, it's Kadeng775. I want to thank you folks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button. Let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate that criticism. This is 775 Thanks for watching. Peace out.